Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and today's going to be like a junk journal. I'm actually going to be working with that kit, uh, My Creative Studio. So I've got all of my materials. I think I know what I'm going to do, um, but let's work on the one. There's going to be two projects that I'm going to make. So let's start with the first one. So grab whatever you've got in front of you, craft away. I'm going to work on this, but there are just some beautiful things um, on this. And one of these, I just fell in love with this paper. Living in my own little world. Um, nice saying. So I have my card base here. This is a standard A2 size card base. Four and a quarter by five and a half. It is normally a top folding. I'm going to turn it to make it a landscape. And we're going to make it a side folding. So, let's see. I want to lay that down first. No, I don't. I want to work on this first before I do anything. All right, so I grabbed some of the pieces, some of the ephemeras and all that stuff. Let's see, one of the things that I want to do is I definitely want to rip. Because you know we have to our collage because it's just what we do so I'm gonna use that and I absolutely love this side of that ticket oh decisions decisions You know what? I want that piece. There we go. And I fell in love with that stamp. So I'm actually going to take this. It's kind of cool. And I'm going to put this on some coffee stained paper. around this and of course the vintage photo is out and we'll darken that up a little bit put that there and I do want to have Vintage photo around those. So we got that, we got that. Have that one. <clears throat> Let's see. I think actually, Okay, we got some collages going on there. Let's see, I'm gonna dig into these. Okay. Can I rip these? Of course not. Oh, but I'm going to be able to. So 
just going to put that down there on the bottom. That's all right. I'll pick that up in a second. And then... There's some just beautiful choices in here. I'm going to cut this one just a little bit. put that there so now that's holding that down at least all right so now I want to glue before all of this stuff goes all over the place I think I'm actually going to use as I stretched across there my oohoo right now if I put that there okay we'll put that there so I hope everyone is having a uh, wonderful new year I hope you are enjoying it I hope good things are happening. Um, it's definitely been an interesting start for me um, where I work. Uh, I do have a full-time job. And it just started very odd. I can't, can't explain it. Um, but it did. It, it really, really did. It really went just odd as I drop that and make that loud banging noise. Need a scrap piece of paper here. So, um, I am, I know many people have asked, but I am a compliance regulatory officer so I am the one that annoys everyone <laughs> with all of the regulations making sure we're doing things the right way but in between the the holiday one of the things I did that I've been dying to do it for so long was to clean my uh, craft space, my office. I had, from the holidays, I had so much going on um, with gifts, um, wrapping that I had to do, gifts that I had to finish making, because I was just, I don't know about anybody else. I, let me know. I mean, does anybody else feel that like the timing was off? I mean, I don't know. I know um, Thanksgiving was later than normal. So we actually lost some time when it came to uh, shopping and, and all of that funness. I wanted to raise that up. Just give it a little bit of dimension. Gotta have dimension. Okay. And I think that's what my, what my card front to look like. I'm gonna trim this off. And now I am going to grab a 
my tape runner. I'm actually trying to use up my tape runners. I'm not a tape runner person. Um, I am definitely a liquid adhesive person. I have time to move with it. I have time to fiddle with it um, and so forth. So, so that is the card. I mean, beautiful papers. I was able to collage a little bit. Um, just tore some of the ephemera that came into the kit. And I'll still use these um, for bits for my collages. Used one of the stamp stickers and some of the washi just to accent this paper. And again, definitely vintage style, definitely um, something that I do love. I do love to collage and just keep adding different things on top of it. So that is our first project. All right, so let me just move some things here. So if I don't do it now, I'll never do it. So for the second project, I'm just going to make um, a simple journal. Now this piece here is cut five and a half by six. So I'm going to fold it along the six. So that means it'll be three inches, three inches wide. So just a little notepad. Um, you know, again, we can take notes anywhere. Why not? Um, I think I am, though, going to pull down, and I am going to push that back out. So this is the large sticker. Now, I'm wondering, oh, yay, I can rip it. All right, so I'm going to tear this. And I'm going to put some ink on that edge. And now let's see if I can get the sticker off. Because you know I won't be, right? I'm just saying. <clears throat> so anyway, so during the holidays, I had taken some time off. Of course, got sick. Because that's just what, what happens. I need to see how wide this is. All right. Just to get a rough estimate. Um, so had a cold, just kept on lingering. Um, it was it was just very strange, is what I'll say. All right, I'm gonna rip this side as well. And again, I am not being particular on how this is going here. So I actually had to, if some of you were wondering um, where I was, you could tell my videos had slowed down just a little bit. Uh, the cold really just put me under. Um, because it definitely lingered. And just would not go away so I cannot just sit still <laughs> imagine that um, I have to keep moving and then I'm gonna take this and I want to put this right there so I have to keep moving so okay so I literally gutted my craft space and I forgot to ink that all right, we can still do that. Um, gutted all as all areas. Um, got to clean up sections. Found things that I totally forgot I had. Was able to organize a lot of stuff. Um, group things together. So it was very freeing. It's actually awesome. Um, but 
now that I'm organized, it's scary. So, you know what happens. Whenever we organize, that means we have room. Um, I did donate a lot of things to my local thrift shop. Okay, so I'm going to be right back. I'm going to sew this. I don't have my sewing machine because of the way that everything's positioned here. It's not like I can pull this up. So I'm going to real quick do the sewing that I'm looking to do um, around this piece, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. So I've got these three pieces separated. That's the center. Since it is a sticker, it may come up in time. So I just put some stitches down it just to hold it in place. If it does come up, and lifts up and <clears throat> gets ratty. I'm fine with that. I'm good. All right, so I'm just gonna take these and I'm gonna fold these in half. This is gonna be a very simple, you know, note-taking type of book. Um, you know, it's not gonna be a journal that's very much um, detailed, you know, oriented. I got to trim those down or anything like that. You know, again, a journal doesn't have to have all of the details that we put in there. You can make it anything that you want. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. So back to what I was saying, but now that I've started holding these, I got to keep holding. Them. Okay. Um, so yeah, so <clears throat> I was able to hit many areas, um, within the room, you know, like the closet, you know, for those of you that saw my, um, craft room tour, um, you know, I have a, a closet. I'm just going to cut these freehand instead of pulling out a, a paper trimmer, um, I don't care if they're straight or not. That's all. We're, we're good. They can be different sizes. Kind of makes it different. So yeah, so I was able to organize. You know, it's funny when you do that and when you find something, there's times where you'll look at it and you're like, why did I buy that? I'm not remembering why I bought this. I don't know what it was for. So yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. Yeah, the things we do. So we're going to set these. And then the thread that I'm going to use to actually sew these together is actually a cotton thread, um, like a pearl cotton. You don't have to, I mean, my favorite is a wax. But when the journal's this small, um, I'm kind of okay, you know, with using, you know, these different, I'm gonna fold that in half, put that in there, Let's see what that does. Um, and again, you can always use any threads that you that you want to use so you know always keep that in mind and that's always a choice you know as I said you don't have to use wax you can use uh, pearl cotton which you'll see me use um, in a moment what do I want to do here I think I want to fold that one in half and I want to put that up there. And I'm going to put that one here. Yeah, got to think for a moment. Hold on. And then I want to put this here. All right. So let's squish that down. Fold that over. And we're going to put this in here. So yeah, so again, I'm always good when papers are sticking out. Gives it character. All right, now I need my clips. I want my small clips. Okay. Let's find that center. 
center again. Up there. And we will clip there. I like to use just two. I'm now going to come in and I'm not going to use my book. I'm just going to eyeball this. I'm going to find my center which I think it's right about there. And I'm just going to go through, making sure my fingers are not in the way. And then I'm just going to put another one in here. Again, making sure my fingers are not in the way. I'm going to turn her. And again, making sure my fingers are not in the way. Yes, I say that often because you all know why. You you guys just know why. <laughs> yes, I have stabbed myself. Um, so I'm going to use number 407, which is a pearl cotton five. I'm going to measure three times across my book. I do like to have odd even. Or odd even. Oh, they. Oh my goodness. Um, odd numbers for my holes. All right. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to let a tail hang out there. I'm going to bend this in. I'm going to come up. I'm going to go all the way over. I'm going to pull this taut and push that down. Make sure I have this. I don't want to pick up any of the threads that I'm coming through. And I'm going to straddle that thread that's going straight across there. So I have a tail here and I have a tail over here. Gonna pull on those, make sure it's nice and tight, and I'm just going to tie my knot. I'm going to trim those and remove my clips. Okay, so you can see I've got that coming out the one side. I've got these. I've got all of my papers folded over. I've got these that stick out just a little bit, which I'm okay. These are my vellum pieces, which I think will look really pretty. And I think what I'm actually going to do with one of these is to actually make it a pocket. Because we can do that. I'm just going to put a thin line. Put another thin line here. Push that up. Now, it's a little pocket right here that we can utilize. So we have that. I'm not going to make that one a pocket. I'm going to let that one alone. Let that one flip. Although we can make this one a pocket because it's going on a different side. I'll put some more glue down here. Again, another pocket. Some more papers. 
There's the other. That's cool that that's kind of sitting there like that on that page, which I really, really like. All right. Now, what else can we do? Well, there's lots that we can do. So we have some. Oh, of course, I've got to do my cover. So let's do the cover. So I grabbed a coffee stain tag for my stash. I'm going to use some of those um, whole reinforcements that I cover up with either my antique or my distress ink. I think one of the things though that I want to do, yeah, all right, so let's grab, this is the center. Now, what did I say this was? I said it was five and a half, didn't I? Yes. So I'm going to tear that. to do this again so this is a really wide washi tape basically so for my center I don't know hopefully this works <laughs> just saying just saying all right We're going to put this here. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to turn the paper. Mm hmm. Yeah. You knew that was going to happen, right? Now we can bring this up. Oh, that's right. I put that there. All right. That's not going to Okay. That worked. So we'll do this side. And fold it over. Now I'm hoping I'm even. Oh, <laughs> wow. Look at that. Okay, miracles can happen, right? All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to real quick go to my sewing machine and I'm just going to put stitches going down on this. I'll be right back. Okay, so we got that. So again, if that should lift up, and then I have a tab up here, um, but if that should lift up the sewing stick, the stitches will help to hold that down. All right, now this I think, I just wanna put a piece of this going along here. So we'll accent that piece. I am going to grab A sticker. Just gonna put that down there. And then for here, I want to do some very faint stamping. So when I want my stamping to be faint, I use my distress. See, I don't want it to be too, too um, strong, so to speak, but that's just perfect there. Here's 
another one. These I'm just keeping them on the plastic actually. Again, just a little bit of an image. Over here we can add another sticker. So, okay, I can go back to my... But yeah, if you guys did anything, um, I do try to do that once a year. It usually doesn't happen once a year to to do any clean out or anything like that. Um, but it felt really good <laughs> to do it, I have to say. Purging. It is um, a very fr uh, freeing experience. I'll put that there. Let's see, what do I got here? Oh, that one's pretty. Oh, uh, maybe not. Yep. Yes! Some of these washi tapes are absolutely gorgeous. Now again, I do not know um, if they'll hold, you know, permanently. Again, they're still on the card when I had shown this kit. Um, they are still there. So, you know, that's kind of a good thing. Um, but, you know, over time, I'm sure that, you know, they'll come off. I'm just going to do it. I'll just stamp it on those pages like that. This one here. Nope. You can do that one. That's very different. I'll, do I'll put that like that. And yes, we see that white. I'm going to come in with my Distress Ink. And I'm just going to come down on that page. There, kind of blend it out. And then we have this. Have that. And I'll come in with this. Stamp that there. All right, so that's pretty much my book. You know, I've got a nice little tiny tab coming off of that. Use some of the washi tapes, which is really nice. I think though for this one, I'm gonna use that other washi tape again because I think this one's absolutely gorgeous. I really do. I am absolutely in love with this one. I think it adds a lot. All right, so let me set this aside. And okay, I need to find my space here. So give me one second here. <laughs> yeah, remember, guys, I throw things. I just, I just throw things. I don't do nothing as neat. Nothing is neat at all. All right. And I did make that sound again. I'm so glad I keep dropping things on this glass mat. I've got to be driving people crazy with it by now. Okay. So I have a tag here, and that's going to be what I'm going to build my focal point um, for the front here. So, 
what I think I'm going to do is the one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to use some of this tissue paper because I think it is absolutely gorgeous and I love the color. So what I'm going to do is use my glue stick. I want it to be wrinkly. I wanted a little more wrinkles, but that's okay. We'll go with it. And I'm just going to let that tear along that edge. It doesn't have to be even. I'm just going to tear along that. Oh my, once again, did not put my pin in my glue. All right, we've got that. I'm actually gonna pull these back in. Get around these edges. Got that. Okay, so I've got this one. The one thing that I have really found um, I enjoy is just collaging. I could layer things all day. <laughs> I'm not sure why but I know that I'm really enjoying that. I think it's uh, a lot of fun to see all of the different levels that you can create. Okay, let me lift this up because it's sticking. And again, I'm really just using that tag as my base and I'll look to say, okay, you know, do I have to cut something off um, as I'm putting this together? So we'll just keep on going the way that we are going here. So I'm looking through this Oh, I love that one. Okay. I do not. Okay. How does everybody else work the stickers? You guys good with this? Because let me tell you what. 
I have more problems with doing this. There we go. My goodness. Put that along the bottom. Let's see. And I definitely want one of these to put in that bottom. Not sure which one. I found the one. I think I'm going to do the same thing. around that. So yeah, I am very pleased with um, this kit or subscription or, you know, whatever you want to call that. I love the items that are in there. Um, I think they are absolutely gorgeous. And I think a great start if someone's, you know, looking, if this is their style, looking to get into it um, or, or anything like that. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that like that. So that's going to go right up to that. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to snip that. So that when I set that there, it's there. All right, now I need, now I'm going to use this. So let me know down in the comments, what did you guys do? Did you guys go away for the holidays? I stayed here. I, um, I don't mind traveling, but when it comes to the holidays, I really don't want to, to go anywhere. I know it's weird. Very weird. Now I'm going to open that up and I'm going to trim that edge off. Um, I am a homebody. Very much so. And I'm going to ink that up. So even if you've seen my card videos, I if something hangs off the edge, I, I cut it to make it even with that. Um, so yeah, so I got to clean and organize. That's always a good feeling um, to do that in your spaces or the areas that you have um, so that you can be creative. And I just dropped something, hang on. Because um, then this way, you know, you kind of find things. And, you know, let's face it, I know I do. I forget the things that I have very much so. I usually get focused in on certain things, but purging feels awesome. And then my husband was getting nervous um, because I kept on purging. I didn't stop, <laughs> but it was really good um, just to get those items cleaned out. So that these are the two two projects. Hello, I'm trying to find the card. There's the card. So you can see you can make cards. It gave you some papers in this month's. 
um, gave you some great ephemera. You know, again, I'm all for the tearing. I'm all for the layering. We've got some great washi tapes. But I think this subscription too is also really good if you use a planner, um, if you if you journal for your planner. Um, this this kit is perfect with all of the washies and the papers and the and the little tiny sticky notepads that you can put into your um, planners. It's perfect. But I was also able to make a little tiny notebook where I can just jot down some notes. This will fit perfectly in my pocketbook just to write things down. I've got some pockets in here. If I just want to put some papers or hold some of this washi um, tape in there so that if I wanted to continue to decorate, I could. And I've got a couple of those that we did. Um, so far, those washi tapes that I just stuck down are holding, so they're not peeling back up, which is great. So, you know, it was a lot of fun. I specifically put this paper like that so that I could see the time I kill is killing me. Um, and very true. Very, very true. So I do hope you enjoyed these. If again, the information, if you want to check out this subscription, um, my creative studio, I will have it linked down below. Um, again, these are just some of the items that are in there some of the washi tapes and so forth. So all of that will be linked down below. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to ask those and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd love you to. Love to have you part of my group. Make sure you ring the bell so that you'll know when the next video is live as well. I hope everyone is having a great day. Please make sure that you do enjoy it, but always remember what's most important in each and every day, always. Be creative.